in. All right, all right, all right. Mentorship Masters, we call it the Roundtable Meetup. This is the Mentorship Masters Master Class. And today we're going to be talking about the Ten Commandments of Lead Generation. <laughs> That's right, the Ten Commandments of Lead Generation. Yeah, there we go. So let me make sure I got everything just the way I want it with my mic and all. Okay, do. So we're going to get right into it. I mean, number one activity, okay, it's not the number one focus, but the number one activity is generating leads, lead generation. And what, what is it all about? How do we get it started? And um, this has always been my very, my, my number one, my number one, my go-to and I teach you guys this stuff and, and I expect you to do it. So many of you have been doing it. So I'm going to give you a big high five for uh, following what Uncle Molly teaches. I guarantee you success comes so much easier when you just do uh, what it is that I'm, I'm sharing. So um, how's everybody doing? You guys, are, you guys are in the house. Looks like y'all are doing great. Mina says, what's up? I'm going to have my chat box open. So if you guys need to, um, <laughs> Charles Lee said he, Charles Lee, you still owe me a beer, brother. <laughs> All right, I can do it. You got one. You got one ready for me, huh? You keeping it cold? <laughs> I tell you this. This uh, during this whole time, we've been hanging out at friends' houses, and uh, I mean, we've been we've been trying to do social distancing, but we we have a, a particular family, uh, a, a couple, another couple. Uh, you know, we're not sick. They're not sick. They have a pool. We don't. So, you know, we've been we've been hanging out a little bit. All right, let me I'm going to share my screen so that you guys can. Uh, so we can jump really right into the PowerPoint. And um, let me see. No, this is here we go. All right. So this right here that we're talking about is the Ten Commandments of lead generation how do we you know and i say you know you you can you can uh ignore these at your own peril ignore these at your own peril so before we get into that i want to i want to welcome our new members to mentorship masters we've got eric garris out of florida we've got christy who comes to us from uh just local uh central texas area uh roger parsons i say local to me anyway we're all over the place. Uh, Roger Parsons is in Florida. Tiffany is um, here in Texas. And Angela Skloss is here in Texas. So we welcome you guys. Um, our Masters of the Month, okay? These are our Masters of the Month. We're actually going to post new stats next next week. My guy, uh, Chris, is working on the new stats right now as we speak. So we're going to have new Masters of the Month um, showing you guys who has capped. We've actually got several more people that have already capped. OK, so we're going to be honoring them next week as well. These are our ambassadors here at Mentorship Masters. A high five to each of you that are ambassadors. These are updated stats uh, leading the pack. We've got Will Gilliam with 12 uh, masters in his first line. And then we got Mina with four masters. Charles Lee is in third place, but he said he's coming up from Mina's spot soon. Um, and uh, and then Nick, uh, Melody have two. Anthony Chambers has two, and he's he's been crushing. He's been going out there, bringing in. See, we want to have more and more masters here at Mentorship Masters. And by the way, if one of our masters shared this with you, reach out to them to find out how you can get uh, to be a part of Mentorship Masters. We've got so many great benefits. In fact, we just uh, finished a benefits video all about why, um, you know, what the benefits are that you get when you join Mentorship Masters with us right here at EXP. So reach out to one of the masters that uh, shared this video with you. Um, so these are our ambassadors and um, don't forget masters, you've got a support person in your corner. Chris Capistrano, he's been working with me for six years uh, on my staff and so he is here to help. He's got a, you can reach him just a phone call away or you can email directly to him. So real quick, again, the recap on the ambassadors program. You become a mentorship master's ambassadors app, uh, ambassador after you attract your very first agent. You know, we're it's it's all about building leadership. You know, it's not just me here leading, but you guys are becoming leaders as well. We talked about the fact that there are five tiers. We've got basic, bronze, silver, gold, and legend. Okay. 
And we had a whole video training on the ambassadors program. So if you haven't had a chance to watch it, go back and check it out. Watch the uh, ambassadors training. Very good stuff. Local amb ambassadors collaborate. We unite. We host uh, local monthly events. Um, we also help assist other local masters in our area. And uh, we're, we're prominently featured on the Mentorship Masters Ambassadors website. Now, as of this video right as of today, that is a couple weeks out, but that will be dropping that website where we'll be able to generate tons and tons of uh, hopefully referral business for you guys as masters. So with that having been said, let's get into the 10 commandments of lead generation. The 10 commandments of lead generation. This is the kind of stuff that will make you a millionaire. Let me say it again. This is the kind of stuff that will make you a millionaire. It's what helped me uh, earn millions of dollars and will help you as well. The 10 commandments. Now, before we get into it, I want to just real quick do another real quick uh, debrief and recap on Nick uh, Sirachuchin. Um, many of you guys have, have heard about Nick over the la last couple of weeks or the last month or so. You know, Nick has been in the Mentorship Masters program for about six months, maybe a little more than six months, but he started getting on fire about three months ago, and he sent me this text where he says, uh, hey, I went from 40000 in debt, uh, moving back uh, home, where, you know, back to his hometown, uh, to closing 85000 in GCI in one month, okay, in 25 days. So Nick basically used the things that you're going to learn here today to get out of debt, OK, in 30 days, he got out of debt and he had a surplus of additional revenue. Not only that, Nick has already capped. He's at 100 percent commission. Plus, he is uh, uh, closing multiple deals monthly, generating tons and tons of income going into his bank account. And he's um, he, he's he's cut that generational curse. He's now on his way to making millions of dollars. That's where you guys are headed as well. Uh, and then he was off to show a golf course. Uh, and a high-end condo. And by the way, I, I interviewed Nick. I'm going to be bringing his story to you guys soon. Um, but I interviewed him and <laughs> his sphere of influence is less than 40 individuals. Like I said, he moved back to his old hometown. So he didn't know a lot of people. So he's at, he has about 40 people, a little less than 40 people that are sending him tons and tons of business. And that's what you're going to have as well uh, when you when you implement these strategies we're going to talk about today, the top 10 commandments of lead generation. And like I say, of, you know, you can ignore them to your own peril. OK, so let's get into it. Number one, commandment number one is make lead gen your number one focus. OK, just like I, I, I tell agents all the time, I say, hey, what are you focused on? Uh, they say, well, hey, I'm focused on this or I'm focused on that. The reality is I can just get, you know, back in the day, I can just get your 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 credit card or, or your your uh, bank statement or your checking uh, ledger. And I could see what what you're really committed to. Nowadays, all I have to do is get your credit card statement and I can see what you're committed to. <laughs> I can see where you're spending your time and attention. What you want to do is you want to make lead generation from a business standpoint, okay? We, are, we already know here at Mentorship Masters, we're Christ-centered, so we know God is number one. But when you're talking about the commandments of lead generation, okay, you've got to make lead generation your number one focus. And you really do that in a, in a psychological way. You do that in a, in a subconscious way. In other words, you, have, you train your subconscious mind that it will focus on generating you business. That will be what it does. That will be its task because guess what? It knows how to do that a lot better than you do. Remember, 12% of our daily functions, okay, uh, are, are, are in the conscious mind, but 88% of our daily functions are in the subconscious mind. That's where everything happens. So make lead generation your number one focus. And uh, the commandment I like on that is thou shall have no other tasks before me. Huh? Thou shall have no other task before me. That is the number one commandment of uh, the lead generator, the master lead generator. And remember, I want to teach you guys how to generate leads 
for yourself. Okay. Now I could have easily fashioned mentorship masters in such a way where I'm the guy that just goes out and generates the leads and hands them to you for a 50% split. Thank you very much. Or even a better split than that. Maybe I'll give you, I mean, when I ran my team initially, my lead listing specialist would get 30% and I would get 70%. Okay. Yet she would do 80 to 90% of the work. But remember, those that have the leads are king. Okay. And, and those that don't have the leads are subservient to those that do. You know, we cannot like it if we want, but it's the reality. And that's why I'm trying to teach you. I want to teach you guys to be your own lead generation engine, be your own lead generation system. That way, the reason why you're partnered with me is because you're actually getting something of value, okay, not because you're beholden to me. In other words, it's not that I have you by the throat like many of these teams do and they say, hey, if you ever leave me, there goes your, your, your business, there goes your leads, you'll never be successful. The reality is I want to be there for you because I'm teaching you things that will help you uh, become a better person and a better entrepreneur, business, better businesswoman, better businessman, um, not because you need my leads, okay? Because you can get out there and get your own, make lead gen your number one focus. Commandment number two, simple, do the two. Do the two. That is commandment number two. If you will commit to do every single day, Monday through Thursday, okay, you're going to lead generate from nine o'clock to 11 o'clock every single day. You will hit the success that you want simply because you've got the discipline and the practice and you're doing the work. Okay. So don't forget to do the two Friday Fridays. I like to dedicate for you guys to agent attraction. Okay. On Friday, nine o'clock to 11. Now you're going to, you're, you're going to be very, very, very disappointed if you don't begin doing this, okay, you're going to look back and you're going to say, man, I remember back in July, 2020, Nolly Williams was preaching to us about the fact that we had to, uh, or that we should, um, you know, lead generate for agents. Okay. So you list homes Monday through Thursday, you list agents on Friday. Okay. That's, that's the practice. We want to get as many masters as possible. Remember each one, reach one every single quarter focus on bringing in another master every three months bring in another master right and and by doing that you're not only going to be uh growing your group you're going to be growing your leadership okay because you, these are people that you should be leading not just attracting okay but you're going to be growing your leadership and you're also going to be growing your revenue share okay trust me when you say this you may not understand how revenue share works but just trust uncle nolly it works Okay. Trust the guy that gave up $70,000 a month in money that I was generating speaking in Keller Williams offices. Okay. I was making 70,000 a month doing that. Okay. And I gave it up to join EXP to, to create mentorship masters and join EXP. Why would I give up $70,000 a month? There's a reason. Okay. And if you don't understand it, you haven't really looked into revenue share. If you haven't looked into it, you don't understand it. And even when you look into it, it doesn't make sense. So what I tell people is, what I'm telling you is just do the work, start attracting, build your revenue share group, okay? You wanna get to 40 people in your first line, okay? Doesn't have to happen overnight, it can happen in the next 10 years, it doesn't matter. But I guarantee you, if you wanna be like my friend Curtis Johnson, who he just texted me this morning, he's now generating $160,000 a month. Let me say it again, Curtis Johnson, he just texted me, He's so he he is two levels above me in our revenue share line okay curtis johnson is now generating uh he said this month he'll probably generate his check will probably be one hundred and sixty thousand dollars this month okay and by the way until a couple months ago curtis had only attracted 20 something people to the company okay but those 20 something people grew i remember uh about a year ago um, he had this big announcement that his group had reached a thousand people. Now his group is 2,600 people. Okay. And he has personally enrolled 40, okay. 40 people over the years. Okay. So again, 
you don't, you may say, Hey, I, mean, I don't need 160,000 a month. Maybe you just need 10,000 a month or 5,000 a month. It's so much easier than you think. So do the two that's commandment number two. Now, commandment number three, commandment, commandment number three is that you want to focus on the three buckets. Okay. So when you're doing the two focus on uh, your sphere of influence, number one, number two, your farm and number three, your niche. Now this is all stuff that I teach in success with listings. So make sure that you go back and read chapters five through 10 of success with listings. If you don't have the book, okay, it's absolutely free. <laughs> Just go to nolly.com and you can download the book for free. Okay. So focus on the three buckets. That's where, you know, 90 plus percent of your revenue will come from. And so that should be your only focus, the three buckets. That's commandment number three. Commandment number four is easily overlooked and it's very, very important. And that is to create a lead generation bunker, create a lead generation bunker. Okay. If you have a bunker where you can do your lead generation, you will be far more likely to follow through with the habit and the discipline of, uh, you know, of doing the, the practice. Okay. So create a lead generation bunker. It's so, so, so important uh, for you to do this. Um, I can't say, I can't stress it enough how important it is um, to create this space for yourself. Now, here's a couple of ideas. Number one, uh, you want to pick a place that feels right. Okay. When you go into your space, you feel energetic. You feel like you have ideas. You, it feels right. You know, there was a quote that um, one, one good idea, okay, properly exploited. Let me, let me say the quote correctly. Properly exploited, one good idea gained from a walk on the beach is, more, is worth more than 10 lifetimes of hard work. Okay. Properly exploited, one good idea gained from taking a walk on the beach is worth more than 10 lifetimes of hard work. And the reality is that there are places like the beach that put us into a, a feeling of creativity. And whatever your space is, now you can't maybe go lead generate on the beach, but you should create a space that um, simulates what it is that you enjoy and what, what feels good to you. Okay. Let me say it again, what feels good to you. Now, you also want to create the right environment for success, the right environment, your environment around you. Like if you if you're in a noisy place or you're in a place that's, um, you know, less than creative, you're just you know, you, you, you want to think about it like you're creating a studio. OK, and that is your safe and sacred place where you can go and generate leads every single day. OK, I don't care if it's a small closet. In fact, what I did this week is um, I Googled small, uh, cozy office spaces, okay? And just Google it and you'll get a lot of ideas on how to create, you'll say, oh, I like that the way that feel, or I like the way that looks. I would like to create something like that. Um, for some time, um, you know, my office was in a closet, okay? But it, it was pimped out, <laughs> it looked good. Right. So, so, uh, and then the last thing I want to say on this is take everything that you need into your lead generation bunker. So you'll notice right now I'm in my lead generation bunker. Um, I've got everything spread out before me. I've got my phone right here. Uh, I've got this like sort of, you can't really see it, but I got like a little stand that my phone sits on and, um, and I can see it, you know, what's going on with it. Um, and then I've got whiteboards all around me. And I've got a small house. You know, I've, I live in a small, my wife and I live in a small space. We actually call it a crash pad. It's just a, a, a way station <laughs> for when we're not traveling. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It, you don't have to have a big, humongous. Now, my next space is probably going to be pretty nice, big, whatever. But, you know, take everything that you need into the bunker. You don't want to be leaving your lead generation bunker because you're going to put a break or a kink in the flow of energy. Okay. So you want to stay in that spot. Um, obviously you might take a bio break once an hour, but that's it. Okay. So that's commandment number four. Commandment number five. Okay. For success in lead generation is get an accountability partner. Now I did a whole 
class, a master class on the accountability partner program. So if you haven't watched that, go back and watch that video. Uh, it's on YouTube um, and it's in the Mentorship Masters portal where you can learn all about our accountability partner program. Uh, but you, sh you should have an accountability partner. You should use what I call my accountability partner system. Okay. You have an accountability partner. You have a worksheet that you and your accountability partner both fill out. You send the worksheet to each other and then you coach each other based on the accountability worksheet. Now, for those of you that can afford it, you might consider moving up to having a coach. Okay. I was eight months in the business when I hired my first coach, eight months. Her name is Julie Harris. And um, I had been licensed for eight months when I hired her and Absolutely. It had a huge impact on catapulting my success. You know, with a coach, me spending a thousand dollars a month generated back for me over 10,000 a month. Okay. So it was a 10 X return. Um, I just brought on Hollis Dean. Now this is the gentleman who ran my business from 2009 to 2014 during our most profitable years when we were doing 120, 130, 140, or 150 deals a year, uh, Hollis Dean was the one that, the one that ran the operation. So um, he's going to be actually launching as our first mentorship masters uh, coach um, through Quantum, uh, Quantum 10X, our coaching company. And so if you got the money, you can afford a coach. And I've told people before, I, I say it again, coaching is not, an expense it's an investment okay it's an investment so just like you would like to me a, a car is a necessity some people would beg to differ they say man a car is not a necessity for uncle nolly a car is a necessity so to me a car is as much of a necessity the same as coaching okay i don't live a life without coaches now i have multiple coaches and i spend thousands a month on coaching okay and i'll never not have a coach um, but until then you have an accountability partner and you follow the program. You don't have, they're not accountability buddy. They're not, these are not even really necessarily friends. They're accountability partners. Okay. And a lot of people get this really twisted and screwed up, which is the reason why I created a whole video training on what an accountability partner is and is not. This is not a friend guys. Okay. You know, it's like daughter and mama. Okay. I'm not your friend. I'm your mom. Okay. We can be friends, but I'm your mom. That's, that's what I am first and foremost. So it's very important to understand that in the accountability partner um, system. So go back and learn that if you haven't uh, studied it. Now, commandment number six, okay, only do three core things. Okay, this is a writer downer. What I like to say is that you're only permitted to do three things during your lead generation time. I'm going to remind you of what those are. Because most people forget. Um, I had a guy to text me this, this week. And uh, he, he's one of our masters. And he said, hey, um, can we do a, uh, a call, an attraction call at 10 o'clock in the morning? I said, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm doing agent. Um, I, I'm doing my two during that. And you should be doing your two during that time. So it's, it's one of those things where um, it's so easy to forget. Like, but, but it's important not to, okay? There's only three things that you're allowed to do. By the way, going to a closing is not permitted while you're doing the two. Um, actually going on a listing appointment. Now this is kind of bizarre for a lot of people. Going on a listing appointment is not permitted while you're doing the two, okay? Doing the two is not about closing deals. It's about generating deals. There's something completely different. Um, see, when, you, when, you're, when you're doing the two, it's kind of like going and setting your traps, okay? Setting your traps and checking your traps, okay? Like just, just ima imagine you're um, in the harsh profession of being a fur, okay? Or whatever they call those uh, guys that sell furs, okay? Now you go out and you set your traps every morning. You set them in strategic locations and you go check your traps in the afternoon uh, or the evening. Um, you check your traps. Now you can still check your traps, but here's the point. You, you're not going on any kind of an appointment during when you do the two. Here's what you can do. Number one, generate new seller prospects. Okay. Follow up with existing seller prospects. 
And number three, create and implement marketing plans. These are the only three activities that you're allowed or permitted to do when you do the two, if you want to do the two right, and if you want to achieve the highest level of success. Okay. You're going to do these three core things, generate new seller prospects, follow up with existing seller prospects and create and implement marketing plans. Now, what will inevitably ha happen for you guys, if you're doing this right, you're going to get into overwhelm because you're going to generate so much business that you're going to feel like you need to stop generating business. And that's the wrong way to feel. It's the wrong way to think. You should never stop generating business. You're never, you, you, you have never grown big enough until God stops sending you opportunities. Okay. Yes. There might be a, a, a place or a space that God wants to grow you to, but you're not to be the lid. Okay. Remember uh, the law of the lid. If you don't know it, look it up. The law of the lid. Okay. You do not want to be the lid in your business. Okay. You're, you, so, so you, you don't want to be the lid. So, um, so these are the three things that you're allowed to do and only those three things. Number seven, okay. Number seven, commandment number seven, lead generate based on your personality profile. Now I did a whole training on this, um, last week or a week before, I think it was last week, maybe the week before. So go out the videos out there. It's there for you guys to, to check out. Um, how to lead generate based on your personality profile. And the whole key though, is that if you do this, you will not only have success. Okay. But you'll also have fun while you're doing it. Imagine having a business that's fun. Okay. And by the way, what we talked about earlier, when you, when you get into overwhelm because you're generating so much business, all that means is that you need help. That's it. It's a big deal. That's when you need to introduce leverage. Okay. We'll have a whole nother topic on that. I'll teach you guys around that. But leverage is, you know, when you're overwhelmed, you got too much business, which I know some of you guys are at that point um, where you feel that way. All you've got to do is introduce leverage. Um, I use, let me see if I can show you this. If I could show you guys this here, oh, I don't have it handy. So um, I use a color coded system. I, I didn't have it. I didn't want to. I didn't plan to teach you guys on this, but I use a color coded system. Very, very important system. Um, I, I'm going to do a whole class on it. Don't worry about it. I'll do a whole class on leverage. But what I do is I color code who does what. OK, so it's like in on in my system, in my team, it's like. Certain people do certain things. And so I highlight that in yellow. Then I've got another person that does the stuff that's highlighted in blue. And then, and by the way, when you're, when you're talking about activities for your team, okay, that's ultimately what you're growing toward. Uh, you're only going to have to focus on like three different at activity buckets. Okay. It's who does the administrative work. It's number one. Number two, who's going to do the field work. Okay. So it might say housework, field work, who does the housework or the homework, who does the field work and what do you do? Okay. My goal always is to do as little as possible. Let me say it again. My goal always is to do as little as possible. I want to make myself uh, dispensable, not indispensable. I want to make myself dispensable. I want the cog to continue to work without me being in there to turn it. Okay. So I don't want to be the bottleneck in my business. So what you want to do is you want to lead generate based on your personality profile and that will make lead generation fun. Okay. Fun. Um, like now my main lead generation is to grow mentorship masters. So you know what I do? I do YouTube videos. Okay. I do fun stuff. I put together um, PowerPoints like this one to help you guys succeed. I mean, that's what I do when I'm doing the two. Okay. And actually when you talk about doing the two and you talk about these, these, um, these three core things. Okay. Uh, this can really work in any business, not just real estate business. Okay. It, this works in any business. So for example, me being a, an attractor, um, I'm generating new agent prospects. Okay. That's what I do. I'm following up with existing agent prospects. 
and then I'm creating and implementing marketing plans. Okay. Now, when you talk about generate new agent prospects, Hey, I mean, a lot of the YouTube videos that I put out, that's what they do. I had a gal reach me just yesterday and says, Hey, I want to know more about joining mentorship masters. So we, we talked, we had a conversation and she'll be joining soon. So again, you can have fun when it comes to doing your lead generation, when you wrap it around your personality profile. Now, number eight, number eight, grow your skills. Okay. So a lot of, you know, some of you in the sound of my voice have stopped growing. You stopped uh, becoming great. Okay. You're great. I get it. You're great now, but you can become greater. You can become better. Okay. Just like an athlete, you constantly train to become better and better and better and better. That's why I'm, why am I successful? Cause I'm world's number one student. Okay. I'm world's number one student, right? I have coaches that coach me. I have people that I look up to. I have many uh, mentors that mentor me. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a student. Okay. I'm a bigger student than I am a teacher. And when I teach, I'm just helping to disseminate some of the things that I've learned, but there's a storehouse of knowledge. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to grow your skills. That's the reason why I read so many books and I'm disciplined to learn. You know, I, I get into audible. I listen to a lot of audio books. You know, I take it to a different level, but you know, Hey, grow your skills, become a better person. And, and no matter what it is that you've purposed yourself to do, there are people out there that are doing it better than you are or at a higher level or differently. And you can grow from those people. So always, carve out time to grow your skills. It doesn't matter how busy I am. I'm always going to carve out a couple of hours a day to grow my skills. Okay. It's a, it's a big secret that many people overlook. Now, when you look at Warren Buffett, for example, the man reads five or six hours daily. Okay. Every single day, people are like, well, what does he do? He fills himself up with skills. He knows more than the other person. Okay. When I used to, when I used to go out and teach, I'd say, what is it that makes you different from the agent sitting next to you or the agent in the office next to yours or the agent down the street? What makes you different? Okay. Grow your skills, grow your skills and you'll be, you'll be head and shoulders above the rest. Now, commandment number nine. Okay. We're talking about the 10 commandments of lead generation. Commandment number nine is get help. <laughs> That's it. Get help. And it's so important. You guys have already done it and I applaud you. You know, you've hired me as your mentor. Thank you so much for your, your, um, you know, your faith in me. And here's what I always say, understand where you are weak and partner with others who are strong in those areas. Okay. Understand where you are weak and partner with others who are strong in those areas. So one of the things that the DISC profile shares with us is where we're quote unquote weak. Okay. And another thing that um, like the wealth dynamics chart, same thing, where, where are we not strong? Okay. And by the way, when you're not strong in an area, you just want to avoid that area. Okay. Don't try to become strong in something that you suck at. You, I mean, you can, you, yeah, I mean, you want to become a better public speaker. Cool. You know, get, get better at it. But if you genuinely are not good or not drawn towards something, okay. Uh, just don't even bother. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Like for example, I'm not particularly drawn to Facebook for whatever reason. I've tried to get into it. I post a couple things and I just, for, you know, I, I find myself five, six days. I don't jump on it just doesn't attract me. I don't know what it is. Okay. So I have other people on my team that handle that for me. No problem. Okay. I've got a gal on my team that's, that's great with social media. So that's what she does. She does it for me. So no problem at all. Get help. Okay. Very, very important. And commandment number 10, never take your foot off the lead generation pedal. Never, ever, ever take your foot off the lead generation pe pedal, never. <laughs> and I know they say never say never, but when it comes to this one, you never want to take your foot off the lead generation pedal ever.
ever. So let's, let, me, let me rattle back through these real quickly um, because these are the 10 commandments, guys. And if you can get this right in your business and align yourself with doing this stuff, you will succeed, period. You will succeed. So uh, number one, make lead generation your number one focus. Number two, do the two, Monday through Thursday and then Friday. Uh, number three is to focus on the three buckets. Okay. Number four is create a lead generation bunker, a quiet space that's all for you um, and, and, and no one else. Okay. Uh, get an accountability partner. All right. Very, very important. Um, and do it right. Don't do it. Don't do it wrong. Do it right. Uh, commandment number six is only do the three core activities that you're permitted to do while you do the two. Number seven, lead generate based on your personality profile. Number eight, grow your skills. Okay. Number nine, get help. And number 10, never, ever take your foot off the lead generation pedal. Guys, those are the 10 commandments. If you are going to succeed in this business, we're talking about the 10 commandments of lead generation, baby. And that is what it is. So with that in mind, I'm going to, um, I'm going to see if you guys have any questions. Um, it, it, it doesn't seem like y'all do. Uh, all right. Any, any questions that you guys have? Are we crystal clear? Give me, give me a yes. If this has been good. Yep. Okay. Pamela says, yes. Uh, yes. Love the overview of them all. Charles Lee. Okay, great. So, uh, you know, I'm here for you guys. Marcia says, yes, been great. Thank you guys. Hey, I love you. Um, we've got, um, Charles says he needs help on number eight. So let's go back. Let me look at that one, Charles, um, which is um, growing your skills. Um, Tell me more on that, Charles. You said you need help growing. Um, I think just just of all the ones you went over, um, I mean, I think I'm getting pretty pretty good at doing the two, focus on on lead generation stuff like that. Just just the skills. Um, oh, you're saying you need to work on it. You need to work. Yeah. On it. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And I'll tell you guys. Um, so what I do is I. Back when we, I mean, right now, you know, as of the time that we're recording this, it's July 2020. So the gym is kind of iffy, but I used to go to the gym um, daily. And what I would do is I would, I would listen to Audible. Audible has been a, is a great friend, but it's a great resource. So now I'm doing my home workouts and I just have Audible plan for an hour. Um, and then what you want to do is trade an hour of Netflix at night um, if you if you do that, just trade that or our Facebook or whatever with a good book. I mean, a really good book that's going to sew into you. OK, because everything in this realm is designed, uh, most of it, not everything, but a lot of it's designed to take away from us, to take out of us, to deplete our energy. So we want to refill. We want to restock. And the way to do that is um, I found through uh, the skills and learning. So get that back in. Now, the, the ways that you actually learn are through uh, webinars like this you know, trainings through videos, through audios. Okay. And live classes, you know, those, those are the main ways that we learn uh, and reading. Of course, reading is a big one. Readers are leaders. Um, yeah. Pamela says she needs to needs more help on lead generating based on the personality profile. So I would say Pamela, go back, you know, if you watch that video, uh, that I that I did all about lead generating to your personality profile. It's really what makes it fun. And and the easiest way to do it, for example, uh, if you've got my book, Triple My Listings, okay, uh, you go through here and when you find one that resonates with you, like canvas your target areas on foot, okay? You know, nowadays that's kind of hard, right? But but um, you read that and how does that strike you? If you're If you're like me, OK, depends on your personality profile. You're like, ah, I don't know if I want to get out there and meet people. I'd rather be behind the scenes. Um, become the, the, the mayor and don't just read the headline. Actually, actually read through the, the you know, the, the strategy and see, does it resonate with you? Because you only have to pick two or three strategies. OK, only two or three strategies 
and you're on your way to an absolutely rocking and winning business. In fact, um, when I was doing 150 deals a year, uh, we only implemented, I mean, we did, we did the three buckets, but we were only implementing like two strategies, you know, two of the strategies. So you don't have to implement that many to succeed at a high level. So yeah, pick your two to three. Okay, cool. And those of you that don't have the book um, yet, if you're watching this, you don't have it, just go to triplemylistings.com. You know, we give the book away for free. You just pay the shipping. We send it out to you. Well, with that in mind, guys, this is another great uh, roundtable meetup where we talked about the 10 commandments of lead generation. And, um, you know, do this stuff, do this stuff. And I guarantee you that you will be a success story and you'll be able to hit the heights, uh, you know, that, that you've been looking for. Just do it and have the discipline. Um, even if you don't believe in it, like Jesus would say, if you don't believe in me, at least believe in me based on the miracles that I've done. You know, so what I tell people is even if this stuff seems like stuff that you're like, man, I'm not sure. I don't just give it the benefit of the doubt. Say, look, I'm just going to trust Nolly. <laughs> I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to try it for six months and you will have a transform business and a transform life like nike yep pamela says nike just do it all right guys love y'all thanks for hanging out with me and i'll see you on the next one adios give uncle nolly some love unmute yourself say goodbye bye. nolly thanks man bye have a great day great week <laughs>